Hoop City Classic has been well underway this afternoon. Second ranked Sioux Falls Christian boys taking on Central Minnesota Christian. Chargers off to a sluggish start when Noah Van Stedham pulls up and drills a three pointer to help Sioux Falls Christian build the early lead. Blue Jays hanging around for a little while. That's Skylar Watson down low. However, Sioux Falls Christian leads by eight after one, and they would really start to click in the second quarter with the help of Xavier Van Beek. Trabian, he had a game high 15 points, and their defense was also doing work. Tyler Prinz will get the pass off the nice steal underneath. He goes all the way for the layup, finished with 10 points. Chargers led by 27 and a half, and go on to win 68-36. In girls' action, top-ranked defending Minnesota State A champion Miniota beat Yankton yesterday at the Corn Palace. Today they took on Sioux Falls Christian, and they get moving as Abby Roast buries a three. To get the Vikings out to an early advantage, which they would only build upon. McKenna Yost gets the out pass and nails a three of her own as Miniota takes a commanding lead up by 16 after one. Chargers are really struggling right now without their star Lexi Unruh, who suffered a season in the injury in their opener. Lauren Timms trying to pick up the slack, making a nice move inside for two of her 12 points. Not enough, though. Miniota's 12-0. They take it 60-34. Another South Dakota-Minnesota border battle between Laverne and Harrisburg, and it's the Tigers who come out roaring. Breckley Honor from the corner as Harrisburg quickly gets out to a 10-point lead, and that advantage only gets bigger thanks in part to Abby Phipps. It's her turn as she makes the move and drives in for the layup. Harrisburg led by 22 after one, and Phipps had a game-high 17 points. Laverne looking for a spark. Brooklyn versus Stieg trying to ignite a comeback by dialing long distance. Three just like the back of her jersey. Tigers would not let anything happen, though. Sydney Hybertson finished with 11 points. Here's two of them on the nice dribble drive and score. Harrisburg up 15 and a half. They go on to win 66-30. Lots more highlights from this coming up tonight at 10. 